Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a um, wine from Provence here, but it's not pink. It's from an estate who uh, uh, excels at pink wine and uh, sets out to make uh, the best rosé in the world, uh, Chateau d'Esclan. Uh, but they also do white wine and a red wine. So this is their white. Uh, it's called Deus uh, and uh, Deus Astri. And uh, so I think it's 100% Vermentino, also known as Roll. Barrel fermented. So yet yeah, Vermentino treated Burgundian style. They do it in... Uh, uh, a fermented age in, in, in barrels, uh, some of them new. Uh, so let's see how the 2015 turned out. So we're in warm territory here, uh, but one of the virtues of the Vermentino grape is that's uh, the territory it's grown up in, and um, in, in what is a warm and very nice and sunny climate, uh, it always seems to retain uh, this freshness, little, this little herbal edge, um, pine scented sometimes, um, and a bit of citrus fruit, sometimes going into into the pear, and I get those sorts of character. I think there's something a little bit more exotic in the, in there as well, maybe uh, getting into slight passion fruit. Uh, in terms of oak impact, I can't see any at all, uh, unless it's that it's uh, it's rounded out some of the uh, gawkier edges that maybe the wine would have had when it was young. Alcohol-wise, it's, well, I'll see what, it's 14%. I, I was expecting, just from the fresh notes that I get when I smell it, I was expecting something a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit crisper and finer. Well, not, not finer, but uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll shut up and taste it. Yeah, I was just expecting something that, it, it feels, doesn't feel like a wine that's got quite that level of alcohol. When you come to taste it, that's when that rounder, richer, fleshier side comes through. So there are those um, pine, resin, citrus flavours, uh, but here the peachy edge comes through more peachy, uh, a little bit of round pear, uh, yeah, ripe pears, and ever so slightly cooked pears as well. If you do one of those, uh, uh, like a, 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 one of those pear cakes where you chop slices off and then bake it in a sponge. And uh, my mum used to do it. You, you'll, she'll, she hasn't got a recipe like a book online, but uh, uh, just look, look up, look up some sort of pear sponge and uh, that type of character where there is uh, something almost uh, eggy and dough-like. Uh, partly thanks to, uh, I think, the, the impact of the barrel and that uh, richer edge that the alcohol is giving it. But, despite that rich edge, there is all, always this fresh character. Um, it is um, uh, not... Uh, it's, 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 it's funny, I've just tasted two, two of the, uh, uh, the Chateau d'Esclan rosé wines, and they are on the crisper, um, more precise side. This is a little bit more weighty. Uh, almost um, maybe maybe it's it's a little bit too weighty for a, a summer lunchtime. If you if you're in a coolish area or in certainly one of those areas where uh, you have hot days but then it cools down at night, this is the sort of wine that you want to be setting into. Uh, so maybe uh, something for a hot English um, summer evening. Been hot during the day and then you, you're starting to need a jumper or a cardigan and that's what I'd, I'd set into there. Roast chicken, roast slightly garlicky chicken uh, with uh, maybe a creamy mushroom sauce. I would, uh, I'd go a bomb on that. It's, um, it smells good. Uh, and one of the, the problems I have with a wine like this, I never quite know uh, how it's going to evolve, how it's going to age because it's really tasty now. Um, and I've not seen, I've not seen wines like this with um, three, four, five years bottle age. I would be intrigued. Uh, hard to think of it looking better than it does now because it looks pretty good now. But uh, if you have the patience, time, space, money, go for it. Give it a go and uh, report back to me, please. See you soon.